Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla shows off its super effective HEPA filter and bioweapon defense mode in crazy new test. Tesla releases autopilot software update to better use regenerative braking for higher efficiency. Tesla's 8,000-ton Cybertruck Giga Press, rumored to begin operating next month. And Tesla Cybertruck prototype with modifications spotted at Giga Texas. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla released a new video to its YouTube channel recently to show off its super effective HEPA filter, which when combined with bioweapon defense mode, keeps nearly all traces of pollution and particulate matter out of the cabin. Tesla has used the HEPA filter and biodefense mode in the Model Y since 2020. It has been installed in other vehicles, namely, the Model X and Model S, for many years. In the new test video, the Model Y goes up against another vehicle that does not have a HEPA-grade filter or bioweapon defense mode. The purpose of the test was to show the effectiveness of the HEPA filter and bioweapon mode, especially as Tesla claims, it takes up to 99.97% or greater of particulate matter out of the air, providing safe and pollution-free air for the cabin's occupants. Nearly six years ago, Tesla performed basically the same test with a Model X. The all-electric SUV was placed inside a large bubble that was contaminated with extreme levels of pollution. The Model X safely and effectively removed so much of the particulate matter and pollution from the air that levels were so low, they were undetectable by the instruments used. In the new experiment, a series of smoke bombs were set off inside the bubble to give a more visual representation of the effectiveness of the HEPA filter and bioweapon defense mode. After several moments in the car, the Model Y's cabin remained smoke-free. The cabin was able to be occupied by a Tesla employee. The other car, which had a camera installed inside, just as the Model Y did, was filling with smoke quickly. The post-test analysis of the HEPA filter provided valuable feedback. Not only was the filter able to capture nearly all of the particulate matter, but the red smoke was able to be spotted on the HEPA-grade filter. The HEPA filter is inspired by air filtration systems used in hospitals, clean rooms, and the aerospace industry, and can prevent smoke, bacteria, and pollen from entering the cabin. In today's world, this is an underrated feature, especially as any air from the outside world becomes what passengers breathe in a car. Without a HEPA filter and bioweapon defense mode, there is pollution entering the cabin, which becomes the air that you and your passengers will breathe. Moving to the next update, Tesla releases autopilot software update to better use regenerative braking for higher efficiency. Tesla has started pushing a new software update that enables autopilot to better use regenerative braking. It should result in higher efficiency and a smoother experience in stop-and-go traffic where autopilot is really useful. Regenerative braking is one of the coolest things about electric vehicles. An average electric powertrain is already much more efficient than even the best internal combustion engines, but the gap can be widened even further with intelligent use of regenerative braking. Automakers have incorporated the technology in many different ways to control the strength of the regenerative braking, which consists of harnessing energy while slowing a vehicle to help charge the battery by tapping into the ability of an electric motor to turn into a generator. Tesla has been known to have one of the most aggressive regenerative braking systems, but it has the lowest level of customization. The automaker previously only had two options, standard and low, but it removed them in 2020 to only have the standard as default. New EV drivers may need some time to adapt to stronger regenerative braking, which can even enable one-pedal driving, as the car can sometimes come to a complete stop quite rapidly just by taking your foot off the accelerator. For Tesla, Autopilot adds another layer to regenerative braking, since it is controlled automatically when using the Traffic Aware Cruise Control feature. Autopilot uses both the regenerative braking and the regular brake pads, but it can always improve the balance for efficiency. Now, Tesla has started to release a new software update, 2022.4,
that improves on this balance to use more regenerative braking at low speed. The automaker wrote the following in the release notes. Autopilot will now use more regenerative braking at low speeds for higher efficiency and an improved driving experience, especially in stop and go traffic. Increased use of regenerative braking results in less brake pedal noise and smoother stops. The software update is now starting to be pushed to the fleet, but it can take days to weeks to propagate completely. Moving to the next update, Tesla's 8,000-ton Cybertruck Giga Press, rumored to begin operating next month. The official opening of Giga Texas is getting closer by the day, with rumors circulating that the first Model Y deliveries could happen before the end of March. The new factory will be producing more than just the Model Y. Tesla also plans to manufacture the Cybertruck in Austin, which according to other rumors, has been pushed back to 2023. While production may be months away, a new rumor has surfaced that Tesla will complete a major milestone in the development of the Cybertruck by firing up the first 8,000-ton Giga Press. According to Tesla owner and investor, Butter Shrimp, that milestone will take place next month. In a discussion with Drive Tesla, the Twitter user confirmed the information came from a source with direct knowledge of the plans. While we haven't been able to confirm the rumor, Tesla did take delivery of a new Giga Press earlier this month. The factory already has three Giga Press machines installed, more than enough to begin Model Y production. A recent drone flyover also revealed foundations have already been prepared for two additional Giga Presses. Drone operator Joe Tegmeyer tells Drive Tesla that two more Giga Press foundations have since been prepared further east from where the current foundations sit. In addition to the new foundations, heavy-duty bridge cranes are also being installed above the Easy Bay, indicating Tesla might be expecting a larger load on this side of the Giga Press area. Tesla currently uses 6,000-ton Giga Press machines built by IDRA to manufacture single-piece front and rear castings for the Model 3 and Model Y. We will hopefully be getting an update on when Cybertruck production will begin at the upcoming earnings call. Moving to the last update, Tesla Cybertruck prototype with modifications spotted at Giga Texas. Tesla Cybertruck has gone through several changes, often due to regulatory requirements, and it now appears to be approaching its final form. The electric pickup truck with a slightly updated look was photographed at Giga Texas. Bahama Todd posted leaked photos of an updated Cybertruck prototype on the Cybertruck Owners Club on Sunday. The electric beast was brought to Giga Texas, where factory employees had the opportunity not only to look at it, but also to take several photos and videos. Bahama Todd posted a photo of the Cybertruck, a photo of Tesla employees looking it over, and a video taken by one of the employees. The new photos give us an idea that Tesla has again made some changes to the design of the Cybertruck, more specifically, improved on the version that was recently seen at the Fremont test track. The first thing that catches your eye is that the wiper on the windshield that has become more fine-tuned compared to its original appearance. The side mirrors also look neater than before. It should be noted that they were installed in order to comply with the requirements of the regulators, and in reality, Cybertruck's mirrors are not needed, since the cameras installed around the car give an excellent image of what is happening around it. That is why, as Tesla CEO Elon Musk previously stated, the side mirrors are installed in such a way that they can be removed by the owners themselves if they want. Of the other observations that will catch the eye is that the front of the car looks shorter than before and has a slightly different angle of inclination. Thus, the front end received a more obtuse angle, which was probably also due to regulatory requirements to prevent more serious injury to pedestrians in the event of an accident. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.